I noticed that you, you, you refer to this as almost like a, a person. How, how do you... How do you feel about this instrument that you play? Oh, she's she's very much alive. Uh, I call her baby, affectionately. And uh, baby, baby, well, yeah. big for a baby. Just, well, yeah, but she's uh, she's very much a, a part of obviously the, the, the amazing aura of this building and this Philadelphia takes such great pride in this instrument. Uh, it's an international musical treasure, and uh, she's getting the love and care that she's really never had before since Macy's came in. I mean, it really. She's getting loved, and she's showing her love back, and just the way she sounds, and you can hear. Just looking at just, her, yeah, yeah, seems to me she requires a lot of love. She does really want, Yeah, there are two full-time maintenance staff just to take care of her her needs and to, to tune her every, uh, you know, pretty much every day. They're doing something to to her to keep her in the best of shape. It's the largest fully functioning musical instrument in the world. So, what makes it the largest? What makes it up? It's got uh, 28,000 plus pipes, 28,400 and something pipes in the organ. 28,400 and something? something. We're not quite sure. <laughs> You've I, lost count? I've lost count after 20 years, but um, ranging in size from smaller than a pencil to over 32 feet in length. This is a really cool shot of a Shetland pony standing inside of one of them, the big 32 foot ones. No kidding. Yeah, it's that, it's that big a scale. Pretty cool. And what can you what can you do with this? I mean, what? I see all of these buttons. Can you you can make it sound like a clarinet? You can do everything you want. If you think of me as an orchestral conductor, these are my players basically, and I've got tuba players and clarinet players and a huge string organ. This really is three symphony orchestras in one instrument. And it's a wonderful gig. You get to, you know, the, the neat thing about this place is you get folks who are coming in to shop, because this is like a cathedral of commerce, if you will. I mean, it's- A cathedral of commerce. Yeah, it's designed both as a, obviously a commerce space, but also as a concert hall. That was the John Wanamaker's vision for the place. And so you get folks coming in just to buy a pair of shoes, and then they look up and they hear this instrument, and they're transformed and transfixed for a moment in their lives. And you get to share music with folks that may not have intended to hear music during the day, and that's a really cool thing. Would you rather be playing like, you know, Radio, uh, Radio City or Carnegie Hall, or Never, would you rather no, be playing is, the Philharmonic? Or? Yeah, this is such a such a great part of my life after all these years, and, and what, what this represents to Philadelphia. We like to say the Liberty Bell is the soul of, uh, the, 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 the organ is its voice. Uh, Philadelphia has this amazing musical treasure, and it's an international musical treasure, uh, un, unparalleled in the world, really.